the faith of Sarah. Hebrews 11 verses 11 and 12 By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed and she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and his him as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. We see Sarah's life of faith and we are told that Sarah received strength to conceive seed. Now, God promised Sarah a son, but God promised Sarah a son uh, you know, when she was past the age of childbearing. So it's an impossible promise in a sense. What do you do when you have a promise and it seems completely impossible? Sarah received strength to conceive. How? By faith. And even today, when God is calling us to do something impossible, where are we going to get the strength? Where can we get the wisdom? Where can we get uh, the ability to do those things? It's only by faith. The way Sarah, being past her childbearing years, conceived and gave birth, we too can trust God to do what He has called us to do. And notice, um, you know, Sarah is being spoken of in a, in a very a positive light here. But those of us who know about the life of Sarah, know that when this message came to her, Sarah is someone who laughed at the messenger and said, will I, in my old age, you know, 90 years, you know, which woman bears a child when, when she's 90 years old? So Sarah laughed because she was uh, just, um, you know, talking in line with the facts of life. But God has not recorded that for us in the book of Hebrews. What do we understand about the heart of God? You know, we all fail God, but God chooses to remember what we've done in faith. So God has recorded Sarah's faith here and God has not recorded the fact that she let him down by initially not believing in that promise. And that's God for us. He looks at our lives. He knows our weaknesses. And yes, yet he chooses to remember the fact that you know, we are overcomers in Christ Jesus. He sees the finished picture before you know, we can get a, a, a grip on the finished picture. And so, uh, you know, we, we too can, can rejoice in the fact that in Christ Jesus, we are made complete. And one more thing about Sarah, Genesis 21, 6. And Sarah said, God has made me laugh and all who, fear, all who hear will laugh with me. Sarah counted God faithful and God made her laughter of unbelief. He changed that laughter into a laughter of fulfillment. And, and Sarah is saying, God, you made me laugh and everyone who hears will laugh. Isaac is uh, the, the uh, word Isaac means laughter. God changed her laughter of weakness into her laughter of strength to the point where, where she says anybody who's going to hear about what God has done, they too are going to have this joy in their own lives. And, and we serve the same God. Can God not do that for us? Can He not cause us to be joyful, cause us to be overcomers? And those who hear our testimony also are joyful and are overcomers. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, this day we, we pray like Sarah that you will give us the strength, O oh God, Lord, even in the impossible situation, Father God, to receive your strength, Lord, to do what you've called us to do. And God, cause us to laugh, Lord. Give us the sun of laughter. Give us the promise of laughter. And God, those who hear our, our stories, Lord, I pray that they too will have this joy in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.